Hello guys, welcome to our English talk show again. Today we are really privileged to have invited the prominent Chinese novelist, Miss Yan Geling, to be on our show. Hi, Miss. Hi. Welcome, welcome to our talk show. It's oh, a real pleasure to have you. Oh, very honored to be on your talk show. Mm -hmm. uh, the honor is all ours. Yeah, could you first please say hi to your audience? Hi, hi, friends. Hi, uh, readers. Excellent. You know, as a from the writer, can you, can you share your experience with us? Usually, where do you get inspiration for your, uh, your writings from? Um, I'm a, a good listener to people's stories. Um, I have many friends who like to uh, tell me, tell me uh, their you know, uh, experiences that sound very mundane, but I can always uh, uh, find some interesting details and uh, and uh, some funny stuff, you know, absurdity. And I think uh, uh, to have a very sympathetic ear is very important uh, for a novelist. Mm -hmm. And because um, mm, uh, we say sympathetic is uh, uh, that uh, you uh, you can co-feel, co-feel with uh, uh, your friends who uh, tell you uh, mm -hmm. their, their stories, yeah, their hurt, you oh, know, okay. their, um, conf uh, you know, confusions, confusions. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, their, you know, especially when they are, um, uh, the, um, emigrated to uh, different, different countries country. mm -hmm. and uh, they feel displaced mm -hmm. and they feel alienated and cannot get uh, um, assimilated so mm -hmm. it's all all the stories uh, actually um, I after I uh, uh, came to the United States mm -hmm. and uh, went to uh, get my uh, uh, graduate a school degree. Mm -hmm. I I had this. Uh, um, Someone experience. No, I I actually I had this great wave of uh, mm -hmm. uh, pro uh, uh, productivity and oh. creativity, mm -hmm. and I think it's because the the experiences uh, that I. I shared with my friends and mm -hmm. my, you know, especially Gui Mi, you know, uh -huh. female really friends. Close friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, uh, so it it just inspired me. Okay, great. So you, you can feel them because mm. they are really good friends, and mm. they provide you with, uh, they like the source of your inspiration for your writing. Yeah. Excellent. Can you also tell the audience? But I never betray them, though. You know? <laughs> Anonymous. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, they, usually, ladies gossip, right? Yeah, they, yeah. they gossip about other people, so maybe friends of friends, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, or, uh, you know, uh, it's common. Their, it's really yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they like to talk about uh, uh, their friends or their, uh, mm -hmm. you know, family. Uh, mm -hmm. Friends, uh, uh, yeah. You are, you are a secret yeah, keeper. So they, you they, only take the yeah, I you never you keep your mind my friend. <laughs> yeah, right. I see. Okay, that's a good tip for the writers to get. So you can get good inspiration stories from your friends, but never betray them. Always keep the little secrets. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Can you also tell us what makes a good writing, in your opinion? Um, I think uh, good writing is. Um, the, the simplest thing, which mm -hmm. looks simple, sounds simple, but it's uh, the most difficult, is oh. to get it right. It's you simple, know, to get it right. Easy. You know, it's not uh, the flow, flowery. You know, it's not uh, fancy words mm -hmm. and the big words. You know, that normal people don't use any. It's pedantic words, and mm -hmm. it's not that. It's it's just. Uh, uh, the word, the words, the syntax is the most uh, right, you know, the most mm -hmm, uh, accurate. The most appropriate one. Yeah. So sometimes um, to use simple words to express profound idea is a real skill. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can grasp, can have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we have seen many of your famous novelists that got, you know, adapted into movies, TV series. Now, there must be so many proud moments in your life. Can you share with your audience what has been your proudest moment in your life? Oh, well, I started writing at uh, 20, so, and I started to get my 
my novels published in uh, since uh, 27. So mm. it, it's well. no big deal for me. <laughs> Never <laughs> felt like uh, the happiest or proudest. Um, the proudest uh, moment is uh, this moment. I write this sentence. I feel great. This sentence is better than I expected. Uh -huh. So this is my happiest and proudest uh, wow. the moment. Yeah. So wow. this is my holiday, and I would give myself a little treat. Or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when um, such a sentence is created, you then yeah. kind yeah. of. Uh, yeah. Give a prize to yourself. Yeah, it it, it, it it come back to surprise me. You ah, know, this, you surprise uh, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Wow, excellent. Yeah. Uh, can uh, do you still remember in the first place and when and on what occasion did you find your calling for writing or your, or your passion for writing? Mm. How did that happen? I think it's because of it, my genes. Oh, yeah, in your genes. yeah, my yeah. father was a writer and uh, also a painter. And so I think um, mostly his library uh, nurtured me and the, the way of uh, his uh, life and his ex expressions uh, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. nurtured me, uh, not uh, uh, consciously but subconsciously. Mm -hmm. So I, I had the most freedom, more freedom than normal children to uh, wander in his library. So I he didn't prevent me from reading anything oh, uh, yes so you could so, indulge yourself in yeah, reading yeah well you know something that they, they, they considered uh, erotic right mm -hmm. so but uh, my father uh, gave me free reign total freedom yeah total freedom and With he himself free. is also a um, free thinker uh, oh, he yes. always doubts you know he always has a doubt oh, and then that critical that, thinking yeah yeah, yeah. And so I think that is uh, the most uh, important quality and the, and the uh, legacy that I had from my father. Mm -hmm. um, he didn't think I would be a writer because I used to be a performer. I used mm -hmm. to be a dancer. So nobody thought I would become one day a, a writer. Mm -hmm. And it was very... Um, Unexpected. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Unexpectedly, you discovered your multiple talents, not just in acting but in writing as well. I I, <laughs> I was an awful uh, actress. I mean dancer. I was nervous. I was. Uh, um, I, uh -huh. I I I felt like uh, you know you were. Um, you you don't have much freedom. You don't really. Um, uh, uh, yeah. You know my. I think my brain is much richer you know when you're writing yeah, yeah is to express myself uh, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. whereas my uh, limbs and my body is limited because I didn't think I was the cut for for dancing, I, dancing yeah. I, so, I but I love the dancing I love the all uh, forms of art like mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. I danced uh, so I could um, whole bodily uh, uh, enjoy music, so. Wow, so you got a really artistic, like the um, qualifications in you, and the best calling, the best quality you find in yourself is in the writing, in the field of writing. Right, right, wow. yeah. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I, <laughs> I could be a good scientist too because I yeah. like experiments um, in many, many things. But I didn't have that background. Oh. My family wasn't. Uh, I see. Uh, yeah. That can make maybe a, a different error that will surprise you in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's too late. <laughs> you know, mm. many, many, many our audience they look up at you at the role models. Uh, many our audience also in the young youngsters. Uh, mm. Any suggestions you can give to them if they also want to become a you know good writer, successful writer as you? Hmm. I think first you have to read as mm -hmm. much as you could. Mm -hmm. I realize nowadays the kids don't read much. They oh. they they, uh, they read the school or what school assigned to them, but they don't really find the joy in reading. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, 
it's nowadays too many uh, new devices, uh, you know, g uh, electronic devices, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, chopped up their time. You know, and they, they couldn't find the the quiet and uh, uh, the, the mind, uh, you know, the serenity of the mind to really. Uh, absorb in, mm. in reading so yeah, I yeah. think that's a pity and, sad, yeah. and for that reason I hate all the, the devices you know? <laughs> it, 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 they're supposed to make us better yeah. human yeah. beings but you know meanwhile they, uh, they really make us less humane yeah, mm. it's supposed to give us more freedom to to read more. Uh, yeah, I, I have friends who have you know have a Kindle. They got about downloaded about twenty different novels in there. Mm. But uh, o over a year, they never finish and uh, one single novel <laughs> from reading from <laughs> from, from Kindle. Yeah, remember what Miss Yangling told us? You, know, we, you have to really absorb yourself right in the writing. Um, and read a lot and mm. really and really enjoy what you read. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, thank you so much for taking the for taking the interview. It's a real honor. Yeah. yeah. You know? I'm very happy to be interviewed by you. <laughs> yeah. Before we finish, Happy, any other words you may want to say to the audience? And uh, I think you just uh, do things uh, uh, to to follow your heart and also to 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 not to do things half half hearted you know ah, do wholeheartedly. it uh, wholeheartedly yes mm -hmm. uh, so this is um, I only d I've done two things uh, dancing for eight years uh, mm -hmm. and the uh, rest of the, my life I devoted to writing mm -hmm. so I think it is a uh, th this is really is a good quality of uh, of, of a person, yeah. yeah. And also the good quality of living, right? Mm -hmm. To yeah. enjoy wholeheartedly, enjoy yeah. whatever you do. Oh, thank you so much. It's a real pleasure. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.